guys, I'm back from TechGeeks.com uh, with a cool product that I wasn't expecting to be asked to review, but I am kind of a car guy. I used to work at a, for, on cars, so this was a treat for me. Uh, this is the NT OBD2 Car Vehicle Code Reader and Diagnostic Scan Tool. And what these are is, they. first of all, it's only priced at $32.99 on Amazon.com. And why I say only, these can save you, this product can save you a ton of headaches. Um, basically, it can save your life someday for what it can do as far as codes in your car and what, you know, you would need to fix. Um, we all have seen them probably. You get a code on your car that flashes on your dashboard, and then you have no idea what it is and what it means, and you can check the book for hours that the car gives you, and it's usually not there, and once you take it to a service shop, which is going to cost you way more than $32.99, which this product costs. Uh, basically, this scans any code that's going on in your car and tells you exactly what it is and can clear it if it's like a generic type uh, code because sometimes cars do have issues and it's not a big deal and then you go and spend hundreds of dollars trying to fix it and it was never a big deal like a loose gas cap that's the big one that I get a lot on my car and it still sends out a code and it's still a pain and you still get worried anytime you see a flashing code uh, but this basically this part right here basically just plugs in right under your dashboard and you can see the big LCD screen it has different languages uh, different units of measures so they really took care of the customer as far as the screen goes and the easiness of using this and its size actually I guess it's very small um, but the screen you can see is very large so they put a lot of money into the the right areas of that you need um, it's you can see what buttons it are it's simply an enter button a scroll down you know for the screen an exit button when you're done and up scroll in case you pass what you wanted and your LCD screen this shows you just some of what it can do it, it's it's just a step-by-step -step. you know you plug this in turn on the I mean then it starts walking you through you go to your main menu you can run the diagnostics uh, you can change the contrast of the screen uh, you can set your language to whatever your language is there's I think six or eight eight different languages I believe um, units of measures And then you just find your code and you're off and running. This is what you're going to get in the box itself, which is this guy. You get a really nice owner's manual, lots of languages. Uh, again, very customer service suited. Um, there's somebody actually using it. Let's see if they just have a temperature to do diagnostics. But um, the working voltage is 12 volts. Operating temperature 32 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Storage temperature, minus 4 to 158. I actually keep mine in the car during the summer. Winter, I get below minus 4 here, so I don't. And external power, 8.0 to 18 volts. I want to see somebody with the actual code open. I don't think they had a picture of an actual code on it, but... Uh, it's very simple to use. You can see it has, he has it plugged in right here under the dash. And he's sitting in the passenger seat checking his uh, car out. So um, This one is, like I said, the OBD2. So it's compatible with most cars from the year 2000. Um, but different regions support the vehicle OBD2 protocol at different times. So... I, what I did was I emailed the company about what car I had, and I also asked a question down below on Amazon.com, so you can go that route if you're not sure. Um, there's lots of product details here, though, so it covers a wide, wide, wide range of cars. Um, easily determines the cause of the check engine light. 
uh, the display IM monitor readiness status um, could not solve the airbag problem. Well, that's that was manufactured, so that's kind of gone. You can view a freeze frame and read live data as well, which I really liked. I liked being able to, uh, you know, save what I was looking at, but you, you save as far as save on the machine. Um, this doesn't plug into a laptop PC or anything like that, so keep that in mind. If that's what you're looking for, this might not be for you. But it does save all its own. It does save all its data and everything. Um, you just get a great tool for $32.99. I'm pretty impressed with it. And it's very simple to use. Um, like I said, I have a little bit of knowledge with these, so I kind of know what's hard and what's not. I mean, these this is easier than the tool I actually used when I used to work on cars. Now, it was a few years back, but um, this is definitely a well-thought-out product, well-put-together uh, it's got like an ABS plastic around the whole outside. The buttons are nice little rubber, so they're, you know, nice to the touch. But I like that it's built. It feels like it'll handle, you know, because I'm kind of rough on these type of products, uh, especially if it's a code I don't want to see and I drop the unit itself, but I haven't had that problem yet. Um, I'm going to scroll down to some features. Here. These are what I was talking about, generic codes. I get a lot of generic codes, which are nothing. Um, pending codes, which we all have had, and definitely have had manufacturer-specific codes. Um, you can, like I said, clear the codes. Uh, this is also good. Retrieve vehicle information. Um, if you don't know where your VIN number is or anything, this will retrieve it. It's it's just a really good product. Um uh, L, uh, the LCD screen is also backlit, which was very nice. I actually like that. Um, down here you can see the languages. English, Deutsch, French, German, Portuguese, Russian. Uh, the display I said was very large. 128 by 64 pixel display. Comcast adjustment. Uh, contrast adjustment. Excuse me. And there's where you can even ask questions. So... It's a really good product, well thought out for the user, which is very important to me. And I gave it a five-star rating, in my opinion. I used it six times so far, and I haven't had it very long, but I still had codes. I get a lot of the gas cap uh, type codes where that throws off another code that makes the engine seem like it's not working. So. It's just simple to fix with this. Simple to find out exactly what's going on with your car. Um, I will put a link in the video description uh, to the product on Amazon.com. I also put a link to my website, TechGeeks.com. And I'm going to plug it in and show you a little bit of the hands-on stuff. And that video is about to start right now. Okay, well once you turn it on, have it plugged into your dash, this is what you're going to get. Turn the ignition on and press any key to continue. So I will hit the up arrow. No codes found. Uh, you can hit read codes, erase codes, all with just scrolling with my thumb here. Uh, the buttons are pretty easy. You can hit live data, and then you'll hit enter. It's reading. And there's just some of the fuel system and everything. Uh, you can scroll through those if you like. Just with the up and down arrow. It's hard to show you both at the same time. Um, there's an exit arrow, uh, exit button on the right. Um, are you sure you want to exit the test? I don't want to. Um, 
Actually, maybe I can, maybe I cannot turn it on and show you exactly. Well, we'll stay, we'll stay put with it. So I'll just hit enter. Um, you can go up to read codes with the up arrow and hit enter. Stored codes or pending codes, I'll take stored codes. No codes are stored. Press any key to continue. Uh, pending codes. We'll see if there's anything pending. No pending codes are stored in the module. Press any key to continue. Um, you can go to erase codes, which I don't have any, so we won't need that. Uh, live data, as I showed you. View freeze frame, so for something you want to keep. Uh, I am readiness or in vehicle information we can hit the vehicle information turn key on press any key to continue vehicle ID number calibration ID calibration verification number or protocol so let's do calibration ID and vehicle information I went the wrong way um, calibration ID and then enter I hit exit so there's calibration ID there's just so many options um, luckily I don't have any codes um, so it's hard to show you you know exactly what that is uh, there's a protocol number but like I said I have no codes that I need to take care of so I don't really have anything to show you as far as that goes but when you do have a code you just can go to read codes your store codes or pending codes if you're trying to find the one that is going on now you would hit pending codes and enter no pending codes so you press any key and like I said I have no stored codes so uh, it's just a little overview of everything. I mean, the button layout is simple. Uh, there's an enter and an exit, an up and a down. And the unit lights up, as you can see, really nice. Gives you a nice diagnostic menu. Pretty much anything you want to do for just plugging right into your car's uh, system. Uh, you would pay a lot of money to get this done from you know your local even mechanic uh, I'm sorry the video is shaky I'm actually holding the camera so um, but yeah as far as the easiness to use this it's just very simple to use like I said the button layout is very simple uh, reading the codes is very simple this is a matter of pressing a button give you a nice clear view of it so yeah I freaking love this product I think it's great um, I do get codes a lot with my open uh, gas tank. When After I fill up, I get codes a lot, uh, which is a real nuisance. And they come up as, you know, you don't know what the code is. Well, this will tell you exactly what it is when you do get it. I haven't had one for a while, and I just filled up because I was hoping it would happen and I'd be able to show you guys, but of course not. So check it out. There will be a link to the product in my description. Uh, there will also be a link to my website, techgeeks.com. You can check that out. Uh, I'd really appreciate if you'd subscribe to my channel, and that way you'll get email alerts whenever I post new videos. And we're having a huge giveaway going on now. You can check it out. Almost $2,000 in prizes. So be sure to check that out. You have a few days left on that. Uh, I just love this product. I think it's great. Uh, it, very simple to use. Um, just, it's, it's just a great product. It's, there's, there's nothing hard about this. You can change the contrast. You can change the diagnostics. Uh, you can change the, how you're viewing everything, the lights, everything. It's just, uh, it's just a, a simple to use product. Uh, I think everybody should have one. Um, mainly because we all have newer cars, and even if they're not that new, I mean, this is only a 2011 car that I'm using this on, so. And 
it's just nice to know I have to take it to a car doctor repair shop. So check them out. Follow my link. Pick yourself one up. You will not be disappointed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.